Okay. Okay, coaches, athletes, we're going to get started. My name's Brian. I coached uh, cross country uh, in Red Deer for over 20 years. I've just retired. Happy to be back today and happy to welcome you here to Riverbend. We're really proud of the trails that we have. You're on Treaty 6 land now, just to the north of the river. Treaty 7, of course, to the south. This is going out to the entire province. So we welcome all of Alberta here 10 days from now for the provincial championships. We're, hap we're happy that our zone gets to test run the course. We're excited about it. These Riverbend trails were modified for the 2019 Canada Winter Games. They're nice and wide. They're not as steep up and down as they used to be, but this is a good challenging test of cross country running ability. There is a little bit of flat in it and the athletes will enjoy that little bit of flat. So don't blink when you miss or, or you'll miss the flats. Otherwise we have a beautiful course. Every race is two laps. Every single race is two laps. The first lap is always the shorter of the two if you have a disparity. So let me take you through it. We have a para race, which is uh, two laps of a 1K course. We have a 4K course, which is a 1.5 and then the very common 2.5 that every athlete will do in the last six races. Our 5K races are two times 2.5. That makes sense. Our 6K race at the end of the day is the 2.5 add a 3.5 in lap number two. We are gonna walk the 3.5 today and I'm gonna show you where the connector is for all parts of the races. And we'll, we should be able to cover all distances with one walk. So that's our goal. We have eight shoots set up because this is how it'll be at Provincials. Today, your athletes are welcome to line up where they want as long as their toes are behind the front edge of the chute. We had a finishing arch, but the finish line is still intact. And you'll keep your position in the finishing chute at the end of the race. So our race uh, directors can ensure that we haven't changed positions as you walk through the finishing chute. So that's the start, this is the finish. Tent City's here, it's exciting today. It'll be more exciting when we have the entire province and away we go. So we head off in this direction. Let me know if you have any questions. We're going to walk as quickly as we can. For the most part, the signage is on the right hand side. Look to the right. This is where we loop through for our second loop. So we always do a first loop, we come up this little rise and then back into the course. When we finish, we uh, head off a little lower. You're gonna see that as we come through the finish, straight through to the finishing chute. So this is the, the turn that gets us into lap number two. We have a small section of the course that has two-way traffic and we're on it now. So as you're heading out, you'll come across this carpet, look to the right and you'll see signs on the right-hand side of the course. You'll also see that the course is very wide in that area, okay? When you're coming back, it's narrow and you'll look for signs on the right-hand side. Coming back this direction, you'll drop off to the right and we'll be good to go. Athletes that are wearing spikes, this is the only section where we have carpet and we should be well covered here um, if you need to take a few steps to get across the paved bike trail. So two-way traffic here, you'll see that the course is divided. Keep coming. Thank you. 
You'll notice that we've named all the features on this course. So we're here at River, Riverview right now. Look for these signs. Uh, you'll be able to reference those with your athletes. And athletes, you'll be able to talk about this course for weeks afterwards because of the features that are listed. So we're on Riverview right now. As you're heading out, stay to the right. First race of the day is the para race. We are now 500 meters from the start line. They're gonna make the turn here. So we'll open this gate for the para race, swing it to this direction and have our para athletes do two laps of a 1K course, 500 out, 500 back, twice. Uh, cool feature here, kill hill. You, you can teach your athletes, this is where you kill the hill rather than it kills you. So come on up. You'll notice where we are now, there's uh, racers going in four directions. We call this quad corner. The only racers that'll turn to the left will be lap one of the 4K race. Obviously marked 4K lap one, we'll have a marshal here directing our 4K runners. We're 750 meters into the course. They'll be going this direction, down the hill, and then back onto the main course. They'll come back for lap two, and lap two they'll continue on like the rest of us, okay? Quad corner, you're gonna see uh, this corner from a few different places. Keep coming. We are on the 2.5 kilometer course. There's only one race that goes to the right, and that's our senior boys. They go 6K on the right, and that's on lap number two. Lap number one, and everybody else that's doing a second lap or two times 2.5 goes to the left. So I'm gonna talk about that part of the course in a little while. But for now, just remember that this is the corner where everybody goes left. 
There's only one race where we go to the right and our group is gonna walk that now. So you can see the beautiful course that the six Kers have to run. If you just wanna wait here, you're gonna miss about a kilometer of running. But if you wanna come, we're all gonna to go to the right. Okay, so that's where we're gonna pick up the course again in a few minutes. Follow me to the right. Your observation of that extra kilometer that our senior boys will run, it's probably accurate. It's a good challenge. And we're happy to give that to our senior athletes. They're ready for it. We've now rejoined the main course. Every athlete will run this 2.5 course. It's just a few meters away from us here where we made this diversion for the, for the 6K course. Now we're back on the main course. So it's just a sweep through here and then pick up the signage again and you'll head towards the uh, biathlon range where we have Tent City, the finish line and the start line. So away we go. As promised, we have a little bit of flat land running. We call this the runway and you're heading back into the trees briefly, but this is a beautiful place to regain your uh, breath, your heart rate, and you're heading now back towards the start of the course. Entry point number one over the top of Kill Hill. On our way up to Bog and Run. Everybody goes that direction. If you come up lift off, you just climb. You're back onto the main course, continuing on the main course. Every athlete runs this. Back behind me is where our 4K athletes make that first lap turn. So everybody runs this section of the course again. Lap two, everybody just flows through back down towards the start finish area. So this is quad corner again for those of you who are a little bit thinking, where am I on the course? <laughs>
railroad turn. We saw this at the beginning. So we're about 500 meters into the course, 500 meters from the finish now. Kind of makes sense. So athletes, you can think about 500 meters to the finish from this place. We're heading back to the Riverview run and you'll see that we'll stay to the right. It's narrower, narrower. <laughs> Away we go. <laughs> That was the section of two-way traffic as runners are heading out to start or onto their second lap they're coming out of the right hand side of this course as they're finishing lap one or as they are going to the finish line they're going to the right hand side of this course right right as you face the course now you have a vision of the start finish area you know exactly how far you have to go your teammates and coaches can be screaming wildly for you to finish strong. This is an exciting part of the course, but you have to pay attention. As we get to the base, you'll notice that there's a lap one to the left and a finish slightly to your right. You'll have to remember, did I run my first lap already? But we will also have marshals there. So we'll make sure nobody goes to the finish line early back into the course for lap number two and you'll repeat what we just did. Okay? So let's finish the race. This guy. As you finish lap one, you take the, lo the, the climb here to the left and you're back into the river view run. As you come to the finish, you take the slightly, uh, the path that goes slightly to the right and you're going home free to the finish line. This is a critical point, don't get confused. Make sure your athletes know they're back into the course for lap two or they're finishing to go to the finish line. Those are your only two choices, we'll keep it simple. 